I'm telling you, I lost my job because of the stigma and the discrimination I went through. I remember when I was the director of the teaching hospital in the mid-80s, when this problem appeared in Uganda. There was a ward where doctors didn't even want to stay. Ward 4A, where there were these patients with AIDS. Two decades ago, people were living and breathing discrimination for anyone who had HIV and AIDS. Sometimes they can be so stressed, you know, and due to that stress, you know, they can be nearing to their grave so soon. If somebody is isolated from the, the public, then are losing a hope. It's for humans, and if we segregate and discriminate others, we look to be like all of us are stupid. Over the years, when there was education and more understanding of this killer disease, attitudes began changing. According to the 2006 Uganda Demographic Health Survey, questions raised related to discrimination ranged from willingness to care for a relative sick with AIDS at home, willingness to buy fresh vegetables from a market vendor who had AIDS, if a female teacher who had the AIDS virus should continue teaching, and if they would want to keep a person's status secret. Only one in four women and one in three men had a positive attitude on all four fronts. Some of these questions were asked today to the people on the streets. I have a kid and the teacher is HIV positive. I won't give her this eye. I might get another man and find it there, so I can't discriminate. I know AIDS is not spread through external contact. An infected food vendor cannot transfer the virus through food. An HIV positive person to work at home, you wouldn't be bad. It's part of us. And if you discriminate, it makes this underground, make her go underground. They will not disclose their status. People will be able to access treatment and other services if they are not stigmatized. Getting to zero discrimination is very much possible. The choice is yours to make. Like Phile Bongo Lutaya said in his song, today it's me, tomorrow could be someone else. It could be you. Would you want to be discriminated? Florence Nalimba, NTV.